Is someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw. Oh yes, people. It's Shelly Belly on your telly yet again. And I'm playing another horror game called The Hospital. Now this looks creepy as shit to me. I'm very scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. So. Let's go! I apologize in advance if I scream. I'm so sorry. I'm so. Oh! Best experience with headphones. Now, you know when it says that? Eh. Yeah, it's a bit dark. All the way up. When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who get only mild symptoms and recover quickly. But my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into this hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in the hospital across the country as the pandemic wreaks havoc. All sounds familiar. It's a pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've become a number. A statistic. This sounds familiar. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to intubate me if my condition deteriorated further. What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to go. Dying alone in this room, I was never a believer in God or in heaven or in any of those fairy tales. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it until now. Oh God. I guess I'm too busy living life, chasing shadows to think about death. Please, I don't want to read no more. I really don't want to read no more. I'm feeling weak. I'm weak. I think I'll sleep now. I can barely breathe. I'm up! How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Right, okay. Cheers. Cheers for visitors. Expect being in quarantine. I have no visitors. I don't want to click everything. Hi, Charlie. Hospital bed. <laughs> My bed. It looks as if it was recently made. When did I get out of it? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of it. The rest of the room looks neat, as if this room was recently vacated. I'm dead. I spent days on this bed, struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. It's silent. I remember the doctors and nurses hooking me up to this thing. It's infernal beeping. It's hiss. It's pumping oxygen. It's one of those terrifying things in a hospital. All the machines with purpose you don't know. <laughs> the bathroom door appears to be locked. That person out there. Maybe a doctor. I need to find out how I'm up. I'm scared. I want to leave. Can I not run? Where is everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were a buzz with activity all day and night filled with nurses and doctors and patients. 
It's dead silent now. Unnerving. Exit. Is that the exit? Exit. I'm gone. I'm gone. Go below. Didn't these doors open out to the lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out. Except it looks like I can't leave this way. I should probably find another way out. <laughs> You fucking bitch! Okay, let's go to the door that's ajar. I'm scared! I'm trembling. Lock it in there. Oh! Oh! All these noises. Are these patient ward? Why are they deserted? There's gotta be someone, a nurse, a doctor, who can help me and tell me what's going on. Do you like my American accent? I think it's rather cool. This girl better not pop off. Someone on the other side of this door. This room looks like the one I was in, but it's a mess. I'm gonna speak in an American accent all the way through this video. How awful. There's some kind of stain. I guess the bed must have cleaned after the last patient departed. <laughs> That sound came from out there. I saw something on the TV. A figure silhouetted against the noise. It reminded me of. No, it can't be. I must be imagining things. Maybe that's what this whole thing is. Some lucid dream. I'm having while I'm lying in a bed in some kind of coma. Oh shit. Okay. Is someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw. It can't be her. This is a dream. A nightmare, rather, in which I'm trapped in. How can it be her? Do I know this girl? The way they're arranged, 
This looks like my apartment where we used to live. Except everything was back down and gone to rot. There's something on the table there. I'm sorry! It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I know it's her. How is this possible? She's been dead for four years. Naya, is that you? This isn't real. I'm dreaming. Oh no, I was supposed to choose one. That familiar silence. This cannot be happening. This is some kind of monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific things for 40 years ago are coming back. Yo, there's actually hate in my throat. The doubt and the guilt that has haunted me ever since. But I have saved her life and done things differently. And what? I couldn't say. I couldn't say. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. What did she want? I'm dead! Naya! Did I? Did that really happen? Am I going crazy? Or is this some kind of fever dream seen by my past while my body lies wasting away in a coma in a Taking it out by the beach. Just after yet a, another bitter fight. So, this is me, bitch. This is me, girlfriend. She was just 24. But by then, she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of the mental illness that would later consume her erratic, violent shifts in temperament, brooding silence, thick stares, an obsession with my whereabouts. A farm! I tried to get... I tried to get her some help, but she refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I ended our relationship. And finally I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me, her dark eyes, empty, unreadable. Her mouth wrenched in a chilling grin. How much do I have to read? And when I saw what she was holding in her hand, this bitch gonna kill me! It's like Silent Hill. What? Oh. Yeah, this gonna get me. This gonna jump scare me. A dead body. Abandoned in this corridor. I wanna run. I'm gonna run. It's gonna it's gonna stab the uh, uh, uh. Oh this dead body's gonna get me. Don't look behind. The 
jump scares are mad. On that night, four years ago, when I wake up to find this standing over me, she was holding a knife, man. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live. I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leaped at her. Grappled her, the brain away. He subdued. Until the authorities arrived. I'm not, I can't read the word of this, I'm sorry. A week later, I got a terrible call. That bitch is dead. I guess I gotta go to this room. Nia! Oh, Naya! Oh, God! Why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? They told me what you'd written on those notes you left. Your last words. <laughs> you gonna get me! It's Naya! What do you want from me? I think of those notes you left. The last words you ever wrote. I'm never gonna let you go! Is that what this is about? Die? I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Naya! The bed I was laying on, fighting for my life. Am I well? I am well. Or am I still trapped in this nightmare? Game. Well, guys, that was the hospital horror game. That game was fire to me. I absolutely loved that game. Jump scare after jump scare was just non fucking stop. And I hope you like me American accent. Did I get it down, man? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. If you watch this video, then please like and subscribe. I would appreciate that very much. If you're on Instagram and Twitter, make sure to follow your girl, Shelly Belly TV. You know the one by now. You know the one by now. So yeah, get following. Please. And I shall see you soon. Peace.